Hello, everyone. My name is Richard Miller. Welcome to Never Not Here. And uh, we're in midwinter 2011. And uh, for me, 2011 is just looking like the most amazing year. And uh, just to get right into our dialogue, please help me welcome Zahir Khan. So welcome, Zach. Hello, Richard. How are you? And uh, you're still in Scotland, I imagine. Yeah, I'm. I'm in Edinburgh today. I'm normally I'm normally living in Glasgow, but I've I've come over to Edinburgh, so I'm just kind of on the move, so to speak, really. So yeah, um, in Edinburgh, it's a nice place. Just um, really, really nice. Ever get a chance to come to the Fringe? Come along. It's it's cool. <laughs> if I see you, you can you can buy me a pint, not that I drink, but there you go. I I'm totally into it as coming to some place that's not considered a a spirituality center and talking mm. to people just in in searching for a common language that we all really want to know how life works and uh, what could what perspectives might give us more room in our life and more freedom and and uh, and more joy so that we don't have to live a, a life with the pedal pressed down so hard. Mm. And uh, and why not? We've done it the other way for a long time, and we know how that works, and I suppose we can always go back to it. And uh, so uh, let me just introduce our conversation like this. You know, I, uh, as the... Uh, time goes on I start noticing more and more about myself and I just started to notice uh, some kind of energy phenomenon that maybe you'd like to comment on uh, let me just lay it out a second and, and just say but I noticed that uh, sometimes uh, my body jumps or kind of jerks and I'm making an interpretation that energy is flowing through there but somehow it's it doesn't flow in a smooth way it, it runs against a wall or something like that and mm -hmm. sometimes that is um, in a even a positive or enthusiastic way and sometimes it's in like a negative or a, you know an irritate irritable way and then mm -hmm. out comes uh, that energy comes up and like if it's enthusiastic maybe i'll go wow you know and then if i look there was a thought behind that that said oh i could put this together or i could do that or i have done this or my website's working so good or, or something like that and that makes a jump in mm. my body and then from that instead of just jumping i change it into a wow or something like that i make a word out of it or an, a gesture out of it but actually the energy is just a raw energy that's flowing it probably if I was more relaxed, it would just feel like, of course, my website's working. It wouldn't be a, uh, it wouldn't run into the, this so-called wall. And so I'm positing mm -hmm. that, that this is the same thing happens when we shout at somebody or when we're aggressive or when we, f that there's some kind of a thought and there's an energy thing and it doesn't flow smoothly because there's some kind of a knot somewhere. It bangs up against mm -hmm. the body, the body jumps and we, sh we lash out at somebody. And uh, mm. we just turn mm. that same energy into a movement that, you know, and give it a character that maybe it doesn't really have. Maybe it's just a neutral um, phenomena. And uh, that's just something I've been noticing and kind of blowing my mind. It's, it's a play of life. It, it, it's just the ebb and flow. Sometimes out of a good thing, a bad thing happens, and sometimes a bad thing leads to a good thing. It's... Um, um, the Sufis talk of it, they kind of go, this too shall pass. And once it's uh, a case of this too shall pass, then really it's just kind of in sense seen through. And um, somebody's watching it, somebody's not watching you You're watching it, you're either watching it or you're, you're in it, you are it. And the need for explanation or anything like that just becomes simpler. And it you find in the simplest way, the way you could answer that is just kind of go, well, it's just happening. And that, that cuts it dead for any need to kind of look at it or debate it or whatever. Um, however, at the same time, if you want to kind of get into, I mean, I've, I've, I've basically not really kind of talked for about five, six months or so, but it was a, it was a nice time for introspection, so to speak. And um, the thing I kind of found was that 
I mean, I'm up here in Scotland, and Scotland's, like you said, it's not really a cultural hub for all of this thing. I mean, I kind of come across so many, you know, druids and witches and that kind of a thing. It's it's kind of silly. But at the same time, it allows you to kind of see the same thing from a different angle. There's different ways of describing the same thing. And whichever way it is, is, is actually okay. You know, it's like, in a sense, almost like a piece with everything. It's just different descriptions of essentially the same thing. And yeah, the blockages and, and, and what you know, the blockages and, and things like that, they're they're there for a reason. They kind of lead us and they point us to something else. Who it's leading or who it's pointing, it, that that's that's kind of irrelevant irrelevance. But it's always it's always from a position of grace. It's always for your benefit. Sometimes, you know, something can go so horribly horribly wrong. Like you said, you can lash out angrily, what have you, and then when it does calm itself down, you you, you kind of see that okay and then Sometimes you look back on it and think it was, in a sense, a good thing because it was there for me to, you know, learn a lesson from. You know, even though- I, you know what I liked is when mm. you said, like, sometimes people notice it and sometimes they don't. And basically mm. more than just trying to explain it or something, I was trying to say, well, I mean, would it be important to notice? and uh, Or would it be useful even? I mean, uh, heck with impo- who's There's two who's answers. important, you know? And so then I... I'm kind of asking, like, if we just see that that function, basically explaining a functionality like that, what does it do? It mm. it impersonalizes the whole thing and says this is an energy phenomenon that gets turned into turned into a movement toward a either you know t- toward I, what should I say toward a a relationship mm. a, re- a relationship somehow. It's returned uh, toward two another things. person. Yeah, please. Mm. Yeah, two things. I mean, you know, in in relation to the first one, should it be noticed or not? yes and no so that kind of leaves it nowhere and because th- you know it depends on the character the story that's going on over there you know some some people get the signals all, all their lives yet they're not what people would turn spiritually inclined whatever that means and it's just okay that's just happened and they carry on in a sense it's just doing life you know that they're, they're doing life so to speak or just not even doing life because they don't know that life can be done some people tend to get bogged down i mean i was i was i was in edinburgh last week and um, we had an accident on the way back, and the, the 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 rest of the people in the car they were like kind of debating it left, right, and centre as to oh what this meant, how it meant, and they kind of in a sense got bogged down in analysis. And analysis, in a sense, can they have that term analysis paralysis? It can it can cause a paralysis, and it also at the same time it, it reinforces separation as well because what you're doing is you're saying. Um, this has happened. Why has it happened? So like you said, you're kind of stepping back from it. You're looking at it. You're creating a separation from it, you know, or, you know, you think that you can kind of analyze it. That There's nothing really in its simplest ways. I mean, the thing I kind of tend to find is in its simplest ways, it's just a happening, you know, and if analysis is going to take place in the story, it will take place. And if it's not going to take place, well, it's not going to take place. They're really... Let me ask this. Let, let me ask this. You know, I mean, because mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. in one case, uh, describing something is no is helping to notice it, but in another case, when you say analysis, a lot of times analysis is is endless because uh, one thought leads to another. Is there's a chain of a thoughts seem to procreate themselves, and so then analysis could go so called you know deeper and deeper. I'm really getting to it. You know, at the end of this tunnel, I'll know something. Uh, I don't really mean that analysis, you know, that kind of analysis. I just mean like throw it on the table and then there it is. Oh, yeah, that, of course. And so yeah, that's it's fine. more that, just that's uh, fine. to help to notice it. That's fine, whatever comes up. Uh, I can see what you mean by analysis is separation, though, because you're just getting away from the feeling of it, the getting away from the phenomena of it, and then going into some kind of a, well, I mean, the thing the thing is this, what you're finding is like, you know, the, the, the self-help industry has become massive and it's all about healing the, know, the inner child within or or you're broken and you need to be fixed in some way or that you are perfect inherent, but you've got to remove something from that, remove the veils or whatever. And it's all, in a sense, a way to, to kind of, it's a want to come home. And the ultimate teacher, if there was such a thing as a teacher, is life. Life, wherever it throws at you, just shows you what it is at every single turn there's grace at every single turn and what i find is that essentially i'm 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 finding it kind of amusing the whole the whole thing at the moment because it's like a case of people really want to look into it and what's this or what's that well it just is 
and that's it. There isn't really, you know, here in this story here, there isn't really a need to want to kind of know, analyze or whatever. It's just happening as it's happening in its simplest ways. And in that sense, that can provide the answers that, you know, on what you want. Because if something happens, you look at it, oh, I wonder why that happened or why is that sensation happening? Just let it go sooner or later and answer itself. If there is a question, inevitably there's an answer and it's all in you. And that's what, that's, that's what you know, you find that if a question's thrown up, either you'll consciously find the answer or somehow the answer will come to you. Sometimes, you know, this looking at why it's happened, you know, happens and sometimes it's a case of, okay, right, whatever. And it just carries on and then it's like, oh, okay, I can see why that happened. Sometimes things can happen to people and they don't even realize they're happening to them. Yet if they decide they want to sit down, they'll kind of say, okay, there was that turning point, there was that event, there was something and it kind of brought me to this, you know. You know, put it, putting it into, you know, putting it into this whole thing, like this whole moment of separation and all of that. I mean, that's not even pointless. It's even pointless kind of going there, but it's just happening as it's happening in its simplest way. You know, clarity is just clarity, and sometimes it can be as simple as it's just this or why does that happen? I don't know. So anyhow, I, uh, what I'm getting from <laughs> what you're saying is that clar- clarity is just looking, and not so much at the end of a of an analysis it, it's not really has much to do with uh, your description no and, and uh, just being here to see what oh whoa that's obvious <laughs> uh, no it's more it's more dynamic than that because the thing is it's it, it's something i've been saying a lot recently about it being a lot more dynamic than that it's not in a sense of passive it's just looking it's it moves when it needs to move and it stops when it needs to stop and it does what it does. It looks when it looks, it stops when it stops and all of it's just in an, an inherent hold. I mean, if we look at society and we look at the world, it's basically in a dualistic kind of form, yet it works perfectly. There's the apparent contradictions which seem to sort of like melt away into a kind of perfect harmony, which is paradoxical. And in that sense, yeah, it's, this is paradoxical. It may come across as, well, all there is is this, there's nothing I can do or whatever, but at the same time, within this there are people trying to do and, and not doing all that and it's just it makes sense however an intellectual st- understanding of this like trying to understand it in the mind or trying to theorize about it is irrelevant because you will sooner or later it's a, it's a phrase i use in a sense hit the wall you'll just kind of kind of go i, I really don't get it it's it's i remember someone once saying to me uh, years, years ago, we were talking about free will and destiny, and he goes, well, look, free will and destiny apparently contradict each other. He goes, imagine they're just two jars. He goes, what you do is you just take them and you leave them on the shelf, and that's it. Forget about it. And that's what you do, but it's, in a sense, that's not in a passive kind of, well, there's nothing I can do way. It's a very, there's a very real dynamic to this, as a, especially with, if we were to put in current world events and, and things like that into it, there's a very real dynamic to this, and this is a very real answer but an answer to itself because it's not separate from you it will never really in a sense be separate from you it's you know my favorite tends to be look it's just you and people are like well no it can't be that simplistic well say it was would it be such a such an issue because the thing is we the mind has the mind has a vested interest in this and that's not such a bad thing and the seeker has a vested interest in this as well i mean there's probably people who listen to never not here and listen to every single podcast and could probably do a much more eloquent job of pointing this across than than i could however at the same time they're still kind of yeah i get it but i i don't as an intellectual understanding that's fine that's fine a couple of things that i want to ask mm, you you know one is because you mentioned world events and so then how would you how do you tie that in, and, you know, like, I mean, okay, let's say our main job here, at least, is not to heal the world, you know, some, many other no, it's people not. are, you know, there's the not, and NGOs and everyone else can work on that. We're doing something yeah. else. We're doing some, maybe a foundation work or something like that. I don't know. Yeah. Why, you know, even if that is too much to say. But I mean, uh, in the meantime, uh, in a way, we find the world within us because everything seems to reflect how we hold ourselves. I don't know. Well, that's, uh, that's not really. Yeah, a, a makes sense. Or... Well, look, look at it this way. Sorry, sorry to kind of jump in. Um, there's a there's a there's a hadith the saying of the Prophet of Islam, and he goes, um, and in in its original, well, in in Urdu, it's kind of like just now, Panab Gopachan or Snap and Rab Gopachan, which is basically he who recognizes himself recognizes Lord. What's going on out there 
is really what's going on in us. There's a question being asked at this moment in time. Now, I'm not going to say that, yes, this is a time of some sort of a crusade or a mission or anything like that. It's not. All that's going on in world events is there's a question being answered, asked, you know, and it's asking itself and it will answer itself, you know. You know, from confusion comes clarity, from clarity comes confusion, and it's essentially one thing. You know, from seeking comes finding, but essentially it's all the same thing. You know, you talk to people and they kind of go, you know, let's let's play with this event, this so-called thing called liberation. You know, they look back and they realize that even when they were seeking, there was just, uh, you know, there was just this clarity just kind of doing itself in, in whichever way it wanted to do itself. And in that sense, um, a healing if that's the right word for it, can take place, but not for anyone or anything. It just, in a sense, it loses itself. It loses its meaning. Let what me ask this. Let me ask this because um, we were talking about, uh, you know, questions mm-hmm. will be answered. A question will be answered, and without our, without be. our uh, analyzing it, and so then that sounds like, in a way, a natural intelligence. And so then if people sit in a natural intelligence, then even the questions of, uh, of uh, global peace or, or world events will be answered, right? I mean, maybe that's well, people, all our, jo- our duty is, is to kind of like set people, uh, you know, make this natural well, intelligence of, uh, readily available or readily, uh, it's always available, but let's just say recognized. Well, no, it doesn't really matter if it recognizes itself. Like you said, you sit in this natural intelligence, why doesn't matter no it doesn't doesn't really matter at all this natural intelligence you know if you want to term it that beingness whatever you want to term it, it's really just a term really it's just being and doing it all and it's doing this so it's not in what's happening now isn't inherently a bad thing and i, I can i can i can hear people saying well yeah well how can you say that because i think it's all part of the ebb and flow it's just a story going on and it's whether an event happens or a realization happens that there is just something that wakes up to this, you know, what wakes up to this. And then in a sense, it, it can, if you want, make a, it's like, it's like, for example, we're talking about something that can never really be described and there's no point of talking to it yet. Yeah, websites get built to it. Right. Yeah, books are written to it. No, no, but not in a negative way because it, does yeah, but itself. I mean, like in a way mm-hmm. you're saying it's all part of the ebb and flow. So then what is it that we just say, Hey, that's enough ebb. Let's start flowing for a while. I guess we have a preference or what? Fine, do that, do that. I mean, people do. It's it's funny you should say that because, I mean, I, I sit with people who honestly seriously believe that they're going to chart a course to their own personal liberation and uh, that, you know, they can create their day and they can do this. And, yeah, that's fine. It's just another way of looking at it. You know, it's no more right or no more wrong than saying it's just this. It's just another communication of this thing. This thing gives us, this thing doesn't even give us, this thing is an absolute freedom not in the traditional sense of what we recognize as freedom because it just just goes the terms will always fail it but the terms at the same time it's a pointer it's like the pointer is in a sense just pointing to itself it's, it's something i used to say it's like when you point when you point your finger at someone you're pointing three fingers back at yourself so right. it's you know there you go nice little bit of a pipe right um, <laughs> let me ask let me ask yeah. because uh let me, let me see if i can put this out because um <laughs> You know, I mean, we're in a way you're saying that uh, it's doing itself, and it's and you know your your awareness will do itself also. And okay. in another way, it seems like it seems like uh, for a long time I would I would I would be on a certain uh, mindset, let's say, thinking that uh-huh. this was something. And only a tiny few words were held me there. And when those tiny few words were dispelled by some little tiny hint from another person, the fact that there was this uh-huh. dialogue or there was this this pointing that you were talking about, uh, uh-huh. it seemed to be a breakthrough and, and allow a lot of ease in in my life. Just from and actually, most of these things were very very small um, blockages that were not really huge. It was just some little misconstrued or i mean they can be very small i could give some uh examples but maybe i don't need to maybe people can just accept that uh uh, some small changes in their life small changes of point of view have made have have really seemed to change things now you can say well that change doesn't matter but you know i prefer being easy and traveling light instead of being hard and pushing 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 
Richard, you're entirely, entirely, entirely just, you know what? You need to smile. You need to smile. <laughs> you need to honestly smile and you need to laugh, honestly, because I've just kind of realized it's, we're just constraining. We're just constraining at the moment. We're just kind of like, uh, 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 everything. Um, yeah, whatever. Whatever comes up, comes up, man. It just, it just goes. It just goes. You know, it can, if you want to talk of it like that, blockages or whatever, just, yeah, whatever. Wh- whatever. It's just going to do what it's going to do. It's going to just be, go wherever it is. It's like at this moment in time, it's like, what, what am I feeling of this? I'm, I'm, I'm feeling this. There's just, we're, we're not really talking. We're really not talking. We're kind of being dead, dead polite and stuff. I remember our last one and we just had such a cool laugh. <laughs> you know, we had such a cool laugh because we were ranting and raving and stuff. And it's almost like I'm thinking, why am I being so polite? Why is Richard being so polite? I mean, it's right. like... I just want to hear this now, you know? Okay, I now let me just it. do it then, okay. Uh, just do it. Uh, yeah. Let's go for it, man. <laughs> Why are you being so polite? That's what I'm, I'm just, you know okay, what? Okay, now, now let me here. try to try put something out there because uh, sometimes it sounds it like when somebody says uh, uh, there's, uh, there's, mm, there's life that's doing itself. And it sounds yeah. almost individual, but life doing itself is also uh, appears as, as a multiplicity. And it appears that I come and ask you questions and you answer them. And so then that's all included in, in how it go in how it unfolds too. And it doesn't have to be just that questions and answers are not important because that's all part of it too. Uh, the multiplicity uh, seeks and, uh, yeah. and, and thinks it finds. And uh, I don't know, but and sometimes it sounds when you're saying hey, that it's just happening within me and within, within my no, silence, no, 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 within I've, my I've silence. I mean, it's, I I've didn't say that you did. I'm just saying it sounds like that. Uh, it could be taken that way. It, it, you, you know what it is? You're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't in this. The thing is this. You think it's so two people will hear this conversation and they'll both take two different things away from it. So really the description and everything, you know, I find there's people who are trying to be, in a sense, like kind of almost like a politically correct way of, of talking about this thing. You know, however, it's like they don't want to be like this or like that. I see it on Facebook, I see it on Twitter, and everybody's trying to sound so much more than 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 the next person. To in a sense, it's all. It's so I'm so much more clearer. And the thing is, yeah, whatever. Okay, if that's happening, that's cool. It's happening. You know, what I mean that that's what you guys want to do. That's what you guys want to do. But the thing is, it's like uh, over here, and it's not individual to me. It's just kind of it's jumping, it's flowing, it's flying and stuff, and it's just there. And it's just it's really just about just being as clear as you come about it or whatever I, I don't know just whatever is coming out is coming out it's paradoxical it contradicts itself but it is alive and it's just there and I, you know it's sometimes you know when we're talking it's like I'm listening to you and I'm thinking okay right Richard's talking about this thing and he's kind of going like this and he's he's very eloquent and all this stuff but it's like why isn't Richard just kind of in a sense just letting rip just saying what he wants to say it's, there's a really cool story once about they go the the t- well Rumi's companion, I won't say he was his teacher, Shams Tabriz, he was in he was in a gathering and a man got up and he started coming out with poetry and he was like, Oh, this, 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 my condition on my heart and this and it was all very, very eloquent and it was all very, very flowy. And what happened was Shams Tabriz gets up and angrily goes to the man, he goes, You you talk about the condition of your heart with the words of others. You tell me with your words what's going on. I mean, yeah, okay, it bumps and flows and everything, but isn't that life? You know, sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. It's like Frank Sinatra said, you know, like you're up one time, you're down the next and everything. And it's and it's like that. And, you know, this is a thing, trying to kind of encapsulate this when you know you're going to fail is irrelevant. So in a sense, be free. Just talk about it however you are. You know, whatever comes up, you know, somebody may hear this and kind of go, wow, that was really, really clear. Somebody may hear it and go, what, a crock, a crap. And, you know, that that's fine as well. That's fine as well. But this this is the way it goes. It's, it's really all that's being demonstrated is life, and life has no need of you know has no need to even kind of know you know know itself or even tell itself or everything. Yet it does. You know, I was a hidden treasure. I wish to be known. It says in the Quran. But exactly who is it being known to? You know, it's being known to itself. It's playing a it's playing a game with itself. It's just life. It's whatever happens next happens next. We we don't even know what we're going to do five seconds from now. And yet here we are, you know, like here, here we are, we're going on about, yeah, this, 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 this. Leave it, put that aside, throw it away. It's like, I don't know why I keep coming back to Rumi today. There was a time ago, he was with Shams Tabriz and Shams Tabriz comes up to him and he sees him with all these books. He goes, what, what is this? And Rumi goes to him, I don't know if this happened or not, but, but it makes a great little story at a party, I must admit. And he goes, what is this? And Rumi looked at the books and looked at him and he said, listen, this is something that you do not know of. So Shams Tabriz angrily grabs the books 
and throws them in the waterfall, okay? And Rumi's just kind of distraught, totally and utterly distraught. And then he pulls the books out, lays them back down, they're dry again. And he goes, what is this? He goes, and this is something that you do not know. And it's just to prove a point. It was um, to go another another famous Sufi man, Imam Ghazali, but he decided he was going to learn the inner realities. And what happened was he packed his donkey full of books. Just as he's leaving the city, what happens is a man grabs him and he takes all the, he takes literally, you know, robs all the books. And Rumi goes, hold on. I mean, sorry, Ghazali goes, oh, hold on. What are you doing? Why are you nicking these books? And he, he goes, hold on. If you're such a learned man, why do you need all these books? Because it's all in us. And the clarity, you know, and this is just saying that it's all in you and it's just you, you know, drop the, you know, drop all these ideas of right and wrong. Whatever's going on is going on. It doesn't matter, you know, in that field between right and wrong, I'll meet you just at the end of the street, you know, where it's away from it all kind of thing. And that's it. It's just, it's simple. It's just this. And even that complicates it because as you know, you know, you've talked to people and really all that happens is it points and it points and it points, but it's never the thing. But it is at the same time, and you know, when you know, say, say someone who's never really kind of listened to this stuff is this goes, Well, these guys are just kind of nutty, what the hell are they doing? The best way, the best way to do life is don't do life, life is just going on. You know, you get up, you go to your job, whatever, and and this is it. This is nothing special, it's nothing esoteric, it's just something that gets kind of talked about. You and me are just two people with too much time on our hands we just want to talk about something whereas there's other people just kind of like living it and stuff I didn't mean that offensively by the way Richard I want you to smile by the way today why are you not smiling or why are you not laughing what's going on with you today what is honestly what is going on with you today you just seem to be like yeah really I have to go on camera here and are you the camera show a few teeth <laughs> oh, I like that I like that and everything listen you'll be in Hollywood soon that's what I can say uh, but yeah it's just it's just there it's just there and that's it it's alive it's just no, I did this. I did this other interview. I get this thing is like kind of slapping you in the face at every turn, saying, "Look, come here. It's me. Give me a hug." And then somebody says, "Is it still slapping you in the face?" And I was like, "Bad choice of words." But that was what was just alive for then. And this is a thing we can debate, we can discuss, we can wonder, and all that stuff. But it it doesn't substitute just kind of just doing all that, but not in a not in a conscious way, you know. Debating will happen when debating happens. This happens when this happens, you know. What did you mean, Anger not happened. in a conscious way? What do you mean, uh, what are you referring to no, in a sense, In a sense of like, I mean, yeah, you know, sometimes I think we just get too wordy about it. It's all just, you know, at the end of the day, this is all just wordplay. And I think, you know, sometimes we get all really wordy about it and we want to, uh, but, and it's, it's, it's created a really bad situation. It's like I, I talk to people and it's like they talk in a way that's alien to them and you can tell it's alien to them. Because well, I mean, you know, that, I mean, well, I'm just saying like in sometimes listening to you, it sounds like there is no difference between there is no conscious way or unconscious way. You're, you're almost there saying that exactly. they, what's the difference? It's just words you're just saying, right? The conscious way or the unconscious way. No, I'm just chatting to you, mate. That's what it is. I'm just <laughs> I chat. That's what I'm doing and stuff. I don't, I don't know. Sorry. I'll, I'll you know. Yeah, I don't, I'm not I'm just, just trying to say you. there's a conscious way or unconscious way, but there is a kind of a. A suffering in the world, right? Or you know, okay. some people believe that there should be a more conscious way, and and uh, you know, that's I don't know. Maybe we sh we could address that. And um, I don't know. If, uh, well, you know. That, that that's fine if people believe that there should be a more conscious one. That should make you know that should make a difference. Then yeah, let's let's do that. It's whatever comes up, because you know it, it's like in the whole non-dual thing. There was that. I remember reading this thing once, and it was like kind of all appearances source, and it is all happening from source, and all that stuff and everything. And, you know, it's all an illusion, you know, nobody exists, what's going on here, nothing and all this stuff. And I just used to kind of like, okay, nothing's going on, so I'll just come over there and punch you in the face, break your nose, that's nothing going on. When you're lying there in pain, you know, it's nothing going on. But the thing is, that's just one side of it. And the thing, you know, the thing you find is, you know, when you take a step back from it, you just kind of, you just kind of see where it's falling down. You know, this whole non-dual thing, that I'm having a, having another rant because... Last time I talked to you, you got a bit of a rant. Yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm going for it because I, like I would do the same rant, you know. I'm really not, uh, really don't want to say know, that nothing's happening and that's the end of it because uh, mm. everything's happening exactly. when nothing's happening. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Everything's happening. Nothing, nothing's happening. But, you know, what you find is it's now, now that people, I remember, I remember re uh, reading an email that I got after that last time and it was like, people were like, yeah, there seems to be, in a sense, almost be a thought police. You've got to talk a certain way. You've got to be a certain way. And the thing is, this life isn't a certain way and it doesn't talk a certain way. Let me just say something, you know, because like, um, and let me just lay some a little bit of something out because, I mean, uh, just with society normally in school and stuff like mm -hmm. that, with having a job in the corporate world mm -hmm. and all those things, 
there's kind of like mm -hmm. a certain amount of people, maybe a minority that choose to participate in that and feel they're really good with it. And then they yeah. adopt a certain language, at least that, uh, and follow a certain expectation because the expectation is to be polite and all that stuff. And nowadays it's even worse yeah. because, well, I mean, I just heard that, uh, there's a new edition of, uh, Tom Sawyer out, you know, like, uh, Mark Twain has been, been, uh, cleaned up, you know, <laughs> so he can't say, uh, yeah. the N word when he's talking about black people, you know, and, uh, yeah, so you know, people are aghast yeah. by that because like, uh, you know, yeah. that, why are we twisting around but you know that's just okay let me just finish it's, like, it's so, a question let me just now, isn't it? because there's just go like okay it. a certain amount of people that, that say okay i'm going to participate in this thing and then i'll just go step by step i mm. guess or it'll evolve you know and then mm -hmm. another bunch of people say no this is all junk throw it down you know and then they mm. adopt a, a more rough language and um, we could say it's more th authentic but it's really not authentic it's just their own conditioning come bubbling to the surface and so I'm not really exactly. fighting language one way or the other, you know, and saying there's a there's a, a a more authentic way to say it. And then if you're manicuring your language, then you're more fake. I'm not saying that because it's just like to me, it's those two groups. And I wonder if there's room for the so, you know, it doesn't seem like the the world is so elastic that uh, people that want to bring things down and, and start a revolution. Uh, they have I just, they cause a real lot of turmoil, you know. And why don't we try to go step by step for a while? And and sure, we'll acknowledge that the, it's structurally there's a lot of defects, and that uh, you can't get beyond it because you're in a structure that's that's full of defects and limitations. Which is a you know you're in a huge story and trying to manipulate the story. Naturally, it's not going to work, you know. I I say we can kind of go there too, you know. I kind of, I kind of liked what the one thing you just said there back, and it was brilliant. And it was like the whole thing of something about two different groups: one is wordy, one is not wordy. Um, yeah, that's it. That's it there. Right. One participates, right. and one says, "I'm not going to participate. I'm, I'm a, contra no. I'm a contrarian." It's, it's and they're both, it's they're both actually reacting. They're both reactive. You, you know, Where's you know the third the way? Where's the middle way? Explain me that. The middle way is realizing that there is no way. That sounded quite spiritual, which was quite scary. Yeah, very good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You know, I mean, you know now. Remember, you know now. And, you know, by my latest book and everything, of which I'll tell you about the third way, the, the thing is this, that there is, the thing is this, everything's kind of clashing. And I, I answered that at the beginning, that duality leads to unity. And, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm just the way I am. You know, even to say that, that, I mean, it sounds like that's the preference, you know, but even that's not a preference, right? There's no preference. There's no exactly. concept. There's no nothing in this. But at the same time, that puts you into one camp. That puts you into the no concept, no nothing camp. But at the same time, there is concept. There is teaching. There is structure in this. And then the thing is this, that when you kind of go that way, then it's a case of you're in the camp. And then when you kind of go, oh, well, both camps are in it as one, then that's that's one way. It's, it's yeah. It's what it is in whatever happens. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, it's what it is. Okay. Okay, let's say I got a belief, you know, and my belief is that um, I can and I have recognized something that's always present, always here. And sometimes cool. my attention can go on that. And, you know, and sometimes my attention goes toward more details and more store, you know, more interpretive, uh, mm -hmm. thought forms, let's say. And sometimes it just backs off mm -hmm. of thought forms and then it can see the thought forms dance. It can see everything dance. And, and then, um, out of that comes maybe let's just say I have a belief that, uh, that's a good space and that and then staying in that space is, a uh, is a PowerPoint because it's like awareness or what is, you know, and it's not so much on my own personal, uh, interpretations and stories. And so then mm -hmm. that's a belief too, I suppose. I mean, but it is, there is a certain silence there that just seems like it does come up with new answers. And, and whereas uh, the stories tend, tend to generate just uh, prolonged stories that are all, all hooked together. It's a chain of events. Whereas uh, somehow that, that space of what's here always with never deserts us uh, is something that... You know, in a way, it's a preference. So then you could see that I, I'm just playing with concepts in a way, I guess. Why do you want to play? Why not? Why do you get up in the morning? 
Um, you can't Islam say that off. you decided that. Because uh, Elam gets sleeping. off and I'm hungry and I want breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> in its in its simplest way, and then I'll get up and I'll get in the shower and I'll go downstairs and I'll have breakfast. Once I've had breakfast, I'll just kind of go off to work, sit there and just do what I've got to do, or I'll talk to someone. That's it. There's no need for explanation. There's no need for concepts. There's no need. And this is not me slating concepts or anything. I'm just saying it because this is. See, I think the thing is this: what's happening, Richard, is that that the impression I get is like there's all this wanting to this, that, this, that, and there's again over there. It just seems like there's just this want to just kind of, in a sense, be clear. And it's just kind of the the clearer it's it's becoming, the muddier it's becoming, and it's kind of, in a sense, muddy. It's just whatever is. You know, that that's it. It really cannot be. But I, I appreciate that, you know, we're talking and there's going to be people listening and they're going to want to know and this. And it's like, you don't need to know. Yet you do. It's all there. It's just you. It's in you. You know, you're listening to this and you're going, okay, right. You know, he's going to say something smart. So far, he's bored the hell out of me, but he's going to say something smart. But it's not. It's just you. It's all back, back to you. And this is a thing. It's like just... It is alive. It's happening. It's whatever. And even that, you know, even that complicates it. You know, I've, it's funny because I've noticed I've not probably talked as much as I did at last one because I'm just kind of listening to this and I'm just listening and I'm thinking, is Richard asking me or is Richard telling me or is Richard kind of doing some kind of a mental exercise in his head about this thing? There's a there's a vested interest. Sure, definitely there, all of the you know? above. You know, yeah. I'm just putting yeah. it up there and then whether I tell mm-hmm. it or ask it, then I then. Uh, you tell me how you feel. You tell me how you feel. Okay, let me tell you. Um, I feel in a very simple way that my memories are more muddy than this moment. And so then right. from that, I take it that clarity is something that can happen, you know, and maybe okay. that's too big of a jump. My memories okay. of myself were mm-hmm. uh, muddled and, mm-hmm. uh, and misguided and misdirected in a way, you know, like I was bumping against people without need. And uh, okay. now I feel uh, uh, that that's not happening. So where are you going with this? Is that a metaphor that, uh, you know, that in my life, uh, conflict is reduced? Is it? It's. I would say it's reduced, yes. And many, many fronts. Maybe with myself, okay. I don't know. Like I was saying with myself that the energy still, um, how I started the conversation, that energy still courses through my body and it bumps in. Mm-hmm. It seems to bump into something. It doesn't seem. In other words, in a yogic explanation, I'd say I didn't have the capacity to hold energy. You know, it bumps into uh, mm-hmm. knots and stuff like that, and makes everything jerk. And uh, okay, maybe. And so that's po- posing an idea that uh, if it was smoother, it would be better. So that I mean, I'm not so sure. I need to go um, there, but that's exactly what you, I'm saying. You I don't. Suppose. You don't need to go there at all. If it's whatever it's going see we've now kind of come to the what was at the beginning it's like well if it's going there well what it, it doesn't matter it, it really it really does not kind of really come down to anything it's just if i appreciate you're saying well if it was smoother it's just another thought form god that sounds good um another thought form that's just kind of in a, a thought that's just kind of coming up there is always this whole desire of the grass is greener on the other side and that's because thought kind of this thought is needed i mean you know th- that's where the whole this whole being still and let it be smooth and everything falls down because there's times when you don't need to be still and there's times when it shouldn't be smooth it needs to be jagged it needs to be rough to deal with what and what you find yeah, to is deal with like, what? Like, Tell me why does it? Why, why would it ever need to be up, rough? Whatever, whatever comes up. This, Just this to be life, lost before you up. can be found. You mean that? Why not? Why not? It's losing itself. It's finding itself. It's doing itself. What you're trying to do is what Stephen Hawkins came out with years, years ago, and he came out with this classic line, and I loved it. He was like, "We have become so powerful, we can look into the mind of God." And it, the thing is, this it's like, does it really kind of matter? if we can look into the mind, if we can explain this or not. You know, it's so, it's it's so, 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 so much more simpler than that. But, you know, even that, even that, forget that. And even that, forget that as well and everything. Whatever is coming up is coming up. And, you know, it's like if, if I'm, talk, I'm talking to you and I'm listening to you and I'm just thinking, yeah, there's clarity there. And there's clarity talking in a way that it wishes to talk. And here it's another thing. But in, in answer to it all, you're not right, you're not wrong, and I'm not okay, right. Okay, let I'm me just wrong. say one it's little short wrong. thing, you know. 
You that just said oh, it's way, way, way more simpler than that. It's way, way more simpler than that. So then that just uh-huh. kind of indicates that you somebody could know that, you know, in Not some that. way. Now, what about that? Can someone know uh-huh. that it's way, way, way more simpler? And does that mean that at this moment they're not knowing that it's way that it's simpler? They're thinking it's more complicated. Well, you think this way. There's two websites out there: one called Seeing and Seeing Knowing, and there's one called Not Knowing, and they're both correct. That's something to know that you can't know. That there's no knowing is also a knowing. Yeah, there's people who say they do know, and they're they're totally convinced they do know. Then what? Give me a smile, please, man. You're getting a bit too serious on me. That's all I can I'm, say. I'm off camera, so oh, I can do whatever I want, right? you know. <laughs> I can do whatever I want. I can jump around and stuff. Yeah, there, there. See, I'm, I'm liking it today because it's like kind of it's like a beautiful thing. It's just doing its thing. There's two different expressions coming together. And if anyone is, is going to listen to this, they're going to realize that it was actually one expression. And it's a beautiful thing. Both sides are kind of, we're both, in a sense, playing devil's advocate. And it's a good little right thing. Right on. No, on. right on. You know, like I feel. I mean, I just wish I was off. as eloquent as you, but yeah. unfortunately, <laughs> I, said, I, I wish I was as eloquent. But I live in uh, Glasgow, so I would be Off times, you know, I'm, uh, Listen, I'm like playing a role. I'm Glasgow. definitely playing a role, you know. Off times, that's and, what I, I'm and I know it. That's I'm playing I'm a role. Thinking. You know, a lot of times it's kind of like uh, the comedian sidekick, you know, and I got to be the part of the joke, you know, or I have to come up with the questions. And so then, it, and the seriousness, about, I have to come up with the seriousness so someone could say, hey, man, <laughs> what's all that seriousness? You know, that's kind of okay, like I'll, how I'll, it unfolds. Let, let's do this then. I'll be serious and I'll pretend I'm interviewing you and you can be all jokey. How about that? Okay. So, Richard, <laughs> tell me about your experiences with this thing. I mean, how, how did it first start for you? Oh, man, you know, it just like it <laughs> just go, there, it goes go and there. goes, you know, life just rolls and it's on a continuous roll. I mean, there's really nowhere to tie it to. There's nowhere, you know, I mean, every kind of like mooring is arbitrary. And uh, so then once you see that and once you fe- get the willingness to just let it roll. <laughs> mm-hmm. So is there, is there anybody seeing this, though? You're saying once you see that. So you've seen this. It's under the skin, you know. It's under the skin, <laughs> seen or not seen. <laughs> so, so it's going just, by that logic, if it's, if it's under the skin, so what you're saying, Richard, it's it's inside you, which means it's separate from outside you. So you're claiming that you know something. No, well, I mean, inside and outside. Did where, you see where, do you, where do you, you get that? With this? <laughs> you could come back to interviewing me now. You know okay. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I just, I'm just, not doing I'm any good. I failed, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I was I wasn't very good. He wasn't very good there. People, <laughs> listen, this guy's there's an interviewer, but he's not. Look, see, this is the thing. It's just demonstrated. It's just it's it's just demonstrated itself that you know it's it's all wordplay, concepts, non-concepts, whatever. It's all well, wait a, minute, wait a minute. 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 Life as oh, as it as it as it unfolds in the newspaper is all wordplay, and you know, life uh, I would say of uh, most of the population is all wordplay, and maybe all life is wordplay because somehow without a label, we don't know that we're even afraid of something. Uh, I mean, okay. with it seems like uh, uh, the human species is an abstract nation. You know, we we live in an abstract world. Sometimes I say we make a mental jungle gym and then we spend our whole life climbing around in it. And, uh, okay. you know, uh, we don't necessarily even make it. It's culturally there. Uh, it's passed on to us. It's our heritage. It's like, uh, and then whether we can see beyond that jungle gym and and mm-hmm. and just, you know, and still we're playing the game. Still, we're, it's a game, but it's okay? Cool. And you're saying there's nothing. Mm. When you're saying that uh, none of this all matters, it's all wordplay. I mean, we're trying to mm-hmm. take on words that are are not ourselves, authentic selves. I mean, you're just saying, okay, that's true. That's your essence, okay? But what about the game we're no, playing? It's not we're playing that. a game. But, we're playing a game called uh, global destruction, right? Um, no, what it is is you're totally getting me wrong here because what you're doing is you're taking a little bit and you're saying, "Oh, Zach, you're saying this." But I, I'm not going to say what you're not recognizing. As a matter of fact, yeah, I'm going to say is what you're not recognizing. It's, it's all within context and stuff. It's something that's alive for this moment in time. I'll probably 10 minutes from now say, yeah, it's all wordplay, but it's also real as well. Because wordplay can be, yeah, it's nothing here. It's just going on. It's just life happening as it is. And real life can be, yeah, some guy goes really, is that, you know, someone loses their child or something like that, or someone loses a child, you know, like a pedophile or something. Like that. That's real. That's as real as it comes. 
and this is real but in what I'm in a sense saying is wordplay in the sense of this discussion here it's wordplay because we're in a sense just trying to we're trying to describe the indescribable we're trying to talk of an experience that has happened to someone or not happened to someone that's irrelevant we're joined by a common thing and the common thing is, is this thing we talk about we could be completely lost we could be completely misguided all of the speakers out there you know could be completely stupid you know what i mean we could all have got it so totally wrong yet here we are we think we are and then we try and describe it so we go into this wordplay but in terms of reality reality is a life that's going on you know you're having that glass of water i'm words are happening you know i want to pick up that kind of coke but i'm conscious of the fact that i keep advertising coca-cola here which ain't very good you know what i mean but it's just happening as it's happening and this is the thing, but even saying it's happening as it's happening is complicating and making it into something esoteric. You know, we learn to talk in a certain way because it sounds like it's the best way to describe it. And in a sense, we create another way of talking. We create another concept. You know, the concept of it's like it's something we were talking yesterday about UG Krishnamurti and he, how he was like, I'm not a teacher, I'm not teaching anything, get lost, go away, die, all that kind of stuff. And in the end, he became the anti-guru. He still became the guru. It's it's a whole situation of you are damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. What I've really tried to be, you know, what I've tried to say in this, but what's happened is that you're picking at every single little statement is the fact that there are the descriptions, whichever way they are, whether it's there's a journey going on, whether it's all happening here as now, are all perfectly valid. They're all perfectly whole. There's those two ways, yeah. Then there's a third way, as you call it. I don't see it as a third way. You know, it's wherever. Remember this, there's, this is all about peace with all and enmity with none. And that's total acceptance. But that total acceptance isn't a passive acceptance. It's a really radical, dynamic way of... I don't know, living living in life or maybe living in the illusion, however you want to put it, because it's just words. It is just words. The thing is this, it's like, yeah, you said it was something inside you. That wasn't anything wrong you said. Because, yeah, it is an internal journey for you. So feel it is. It's an internal journey, and there's nothing wrong in saying that. There is. The, the point is this, this is free, however it goes. You know, Richard Miller is a guy, he comes across, you know, the way he comes across, it's very wordy, it's very analytical and all this stuff. You know, Zach over here, he's playing his little, you know, he's playing his little image as well. You know, he's like, okay, young guy, direct, all this stuff, non-compromising. Because you know what, in this point in life, that's what's happening here. Over there, it's happening in that way. Both are inherently right. Both are inherently wrong because whoever is listening will just take what they want to take from it. It's like, I mean, I live in Glasgow and, you know, Glaswegians are lovely, lovely people, but they have an image. And in a sense, they live up to the image, even though they're not. It's like this whole, you know, we're hard because you know Glasgow's the hardest city in Europe and all this stuff and you know we go a boot you we ship and in a sense you become a product of your environment but the thing is that environment is you and you are in that environment you are right you are in you know whatever's going on around you is you as well because it's whatever you know you're you're seeing the world is if you see the world's a dark deep kind of a place look the world's going wrong it's really horrible yet in this experience what's going on is there's a question it's asking itself a question people are starting like you know there's credit crunches there's all this going on people are asking themselves a question and now the answers will be found so we're kind of in a sense like you, you said at the beginning 2011 is shaping up to be a really really good year it's a perception it is yeah, important you know, year because, but i mean you know it's just w as important as i'm willing to to make it i suppose and it, i guess exactly. what i'm saying and i'm willing to make it really imp not make it force it or anything like that but just mm -hmm. let it be let it evolve in me and through me and use me and yeah. and uh, and flow through me and uh, you know I mean yeah. I, I'm saying I'm talking about a uh, a game we're playing you know which we've of course. we've came down of to course. say it's a word game you know and then not everybody no, no not, not everybody that. we've gone away from that now yeah but everybody is uh, has their own things that they can. Uh, digest and things that they feel they don't want to digest i mean it's a That's it. it's a long it's a big world uh there's a long life uh, you're a young guy you're living in glasgow i mean who knows what's going to happen in your life let's say you're elected uh, <laughs> shall I, shall I tell let's just say you're shall elected uh, prime minister this is the game now you're you're prime minister okay. of scotland you know and, and it's 20 years later 30 years later you know you're still young you're full of health and stuff I mean, uh, what's your game then? You got to play a game. You're you're in some kind of a game. You're the prime minister. What's your program, <laughs> Richard, sir? 
can I, can I, can I tell you something? Yeah. Firstly, right? okay. I'm English. I, I'm English. I'd never want to be the prime minister of Scotland for a start. Yeah. Come on. Seriously. Now, now, you, now you're kind of like overstepping the market. <laughs> Secondly, living in Scotland, make your life expectancy drops very, very rapidly and stuff. My, my second day in Glasgow five years ago, I remember some guy coming up to me and he was speaking what I would term a foreign language. Then I heard a few words, which I thought he's, he's intending to cause me a bit of trouble here. And then I saw a bottle fly through the air. That's when I kind of realized, okay, this guy here, right, okay, he, he obviously doesn't want to sit down here and talk about, you know, non-duality or this. And at that moment, as that bottle was coming towards my head, I remember thinking, this shit ain't really an illusion, is it really? This thing is going to try and hurt me. So obviously kind of ducked and did what I had to do and stuff. But this is it. It's just it's just life, you know. I mean, I, I, I look back on it and I think, you know what, it was fun. It was good. It was a laugh. I know you're thinking, Zach, what could possibly be fun about some geezer trying to throw a bottle at you? But, you know, at the time, it's like, you know, you're just there in the moment. And, and in that sense, even that, 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 that fear, that anger going on at that moment in time was, it was alive because there wasn't anything else apart from that. It was a case of, this geezer has just gone and thrown a bottle at me. Okay, right, yeah. A, I've got to duck it because I'm not, I'm not going into the A&E tonight and everything. Plus, at the same time, you know, what I've got to do here is I've got to make sure that this guy doesn't do me any more harm. So there's fear, there's anger, there's all these emotions all happening. They were happening, and they weren't really happening. It wasn't a case of, oh, it's happening, does it hit? It was just a case of, that's it. In that moment, it's just there. And there was no need for explanation. There was no need for conceptualization. It was like, either he's getting it or I'm getting it. It's it, it's as simple as that, and it was alive. I remember, I remember reading this on Jules speaking. It was something about um, someone smashed up something in a garden, and she felt this intense anger. And in that moment, it was just like, yeah, I get it. It's this, and, and that's the whole thing. You know, if if thinking is going to happen, thinking is going to happen, and it's just exclusively thinking happening. It's like whatever's happening right now just happens right now. Whether it's like, what is Richard going on about, or okay, is Richard any minute now going to jump in and say something and stuff while I'm mid flow because then I'm going to have to jump through the camera and, and throttle him, or you know, whatever, go, you know, whatever goes on goes on. And this this is the thing. It's like at the you know the first half hour it was like okay, so because we'd set the tone of like okay, right, you know, we're going to be very very polite here. I'm going to speak and then you're going to speak and everything. It was like a case of. Why are we both acting like such a bunch of tossers here? We need to just get this on. And then all of a sudden we're talking over each other. And yes, some people resonate with that. Some people will think it's impolite, but that's that's fine. But now here we are. We've naturally gone to that. Zach speaking, Richard's listening, Richard's speaking, Zach's listening. And it's just worked in a flow. It's worked itself out. And, and that is a beautiful thing. It's like, you know, when I speak to yourself, yeah, it's like a case of, the guy, you know, uh, you know, a few people have kind of said to me, I ain't going to say no names here, you know what I mean? Because I don't want, you know, the Never Not Here Mafia being pulled out of the stables. Uh, but it's like geezers in mind and stuff. But at the same time, what a lot of people said to me is like, you're just, just in your face all the time and it shouldn't be like that. But it's like, it's something like you said, it's about finding your tribe. What will happen is people will resonate, you know, with whatever they do. It's like some people will listen to this and go, young whippersnapper dinner, a clue, but Richard, God, what a perfect example of this and stuff. Where somebody might turn around and say, Richard, entirely way too wordy, but that geezer, you know, he knew it. It's, it, it that's where, in a sense, it doesn't matter. You know, life matters, but it doesn't matter as well. And the thing is, although that's an apparent contradiction, it's happening as it's, as it's going on and stuff, you know global destruction is going on and in one in one way it does really matter because yeah look this is this is our earth you know we're living on this and look look what's going on it's not right what's going on it doesn't seem to make sense and there is something inherently wrong but on another level it doesn't matter because the thing is i can either get caught up in the drama or i can choose in a sense to kind of i can't choose but i'm just gonna pretend i can i can choose to step back okay and kind of go okay let me look at this let me look at this objectively or however you want to say it you know what i mean um i've got to, i've got to throw a few long words in because you've been doing it all evening, <laughs> objectively or whatever and i can say right okay how do i do this sometimes you know the story loses meaning and in that sense like a like i was saying earlier in a sense almost like a true healing works because then in a sense it, it's, it's like that quote you know when when you shine in your own light it's, it's your light not your darkness that scares you most and when you in a sense kind of just go okay right yeah get it you know, you, you think this way, there's no need for you to do this. You know, you know you've had your experiences or whatever, you know, whatever's happened. There's no need. Yeah, but exactly. There's no need like, for yeah. me to do this, you know. And then, I You're mean, just like talking to like me. Like the whole you, world. That's what it is. The whole, when you're talking about the world and, uh, you know, the world situation, basically uh, all it is is that we're, uh, we're, we're postponing what we consider as hidden costs or, or costs of our activity, and our actions. The cost of our act actions are postponed. And what that means is that our children and grandchildren have to deal with it. 
And then if you feel you know right about like that or feel wrong about that, you know, I mean, uh, uh-huh. basically that's what's happening big time as far as uh, the story of the earth goes. And the story you know of, uh, go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. No, it's just really weird because you have these pauses, and I think, okay, it's my turn to talk now and oh, stuff, yeah. and then you just start talking. Like, but sorry, I'll have to kind of suss you out now. Um, <laughs> that's what I love about you. You're just so eloquent with it, and that, that's cool. You're, you know, you're, you're, you know, you're right. You're totally right, and yeah, that's that's cool. You so are, we, if I, we I weren't just, postponing the costs, if we if we weren't postponing the costs, and we were willing to pay them, <laughs> it seems like mm-hmm. there, you know it's a justice thing, I guess. I mean, it, then we could probably just lay back and say it's our world. We're doing our thing with it, and you know we're paying the costs, and so then that's our choice. You know, and the world will be here without humans. And it doesn't really in the world. We're not offending the world. We're only re- offending our our uh, future generations, basically. And well, that's, is that what we himself. want to do or not? Well, according to the whole non-dual thing, this is all timeless. It's all just happening now. So that doesn't matter, does it? They're just talking about the the essence. They're not talking about the story. The story in the game is the mind game, the jungle gym that we're building. But and the that is a time source. thing. Mind is time. The, the story's coming from source. The yeah, it's coming from, from source. source. Okay. From and so then you know, part of the story is also that we just wake up and start to do them on a different mind game. It's just kind of, that's coming from source too. And uh, do why we... doesn't, you know, we say, you know, people say uh, source is, uh, you know, source is uh, the source. <laughs> source is, uh, so, so let me is, ask is unfolding let me ask this, this miracle, you know. Yeah. And but why okay. doesn't source so, work work the work the story of the miracle through hands and feet? I think it does. Why can't it? It does. It does. Of course it, it does. Is. Of course it does. That's the game. And so then, That's I it. mean, I'm just saying I'm playing Monopoly now. You know, if you don't want to play, then we'll fold that bowl board up and play an open another <laughs> open Scrabble or something like that. Or maybe we oh, just throw all games out, you know, and just dance. And you're and you're actually exactly. celebrating your energy in a in a beautiful way. You know, your energy. Is just here and it's flowing naturally, and and you you know how to celebrate it. it, and just it. That's it, you know. And everything I unfolds like from there. And yeah. then, well, you know, you know what it is. This is the best way to deal with it. This is the best way to deal with it. It's just to deal with the game, pro- right? To deal with Monopoly well, well, or Scrabble. Scrabble, or you know, you want to play poker. It's it's just you know, it's like you're saying. You know, there's obviously you know you've kind of talked about blockages and all that stuff. Yeah, it's not a case of blockages don't happen here or anything. They do, but the thing is, this after one, it's recognised it, that it's not inherently a bad thing. You know, it's it's almost like you know in NLP they use this whole thing about reframing. It's almost in a sense re, you know, it's almost like in a sense reframed. You know, it loses. You know, it just. No, it just I didn't works. say it was a bad thing. I just said, should we notice it? If you want. What do you want, Richard? Do you want to notice it? I want to notice more and more every day. Why not? Well, do it. Do if it. If I want to notice less and less every day, then I should just uh, drug myself and, and try to sleep longer and stuff like that. Well, well I'll, I'll just say what I say to most people. Do it because it's you. You know, it's like, you know, if all there is is liberation, liberation is all there is, then we'll just change words on it. If all there is is Richard, then Richard can do what the hell he wants. Richard, you know, Richard can go fly if he wants, you know what I mean? Or Richard can do whatever he wants and stuff. But this this is the inherent freedom. I mean, yeah, I notice sometimes I'm, you know, sometimes I'm walking down the street and I'll see something, I'll see a scene. It was like, funny enough, I knew I was going to end up saying this somewhere. I'm going through Glasgow Central Station the other day and I saw this child with his father and the child was chasing a pigeon and the father was kind of like you know playing with the child and it was a beautiful scene and in that moment in time all there was that was that scene yeah i'm in glasgow central station which is bustling at the best of times you know there's like mad glaswegians and neds and everything flying around and it's not somewhere to be kind of lost in the moment and stuff but i'm just i'm just there and i'm looking and i just thought and i thought this is such a beautiful thing and I noticed, you know what I mean? I noticed, I knew what that kid was wearing. I could see the father, he had a goatee, you know what I mean? He was an African, he was an African gentleman and, and it was just all there and this was just his beautiful thing. And then a second later, you know, I'm in Marks and Spencer's, I'm buying whatever I'm buying and everything and I'm just going, going through life, going through the actions and stuff. It's very dynamic. That's why in a sense it comes back to being dynamic. And in a sense, now it's kind of in a sense gone full circle. It's dynamic in the sense of, as is, you know, it works as it does. As, as they say, the end of the mystic is as it is, which means eventually after all of that, we've gone right back to the beginning and said, yeah, it is as it is. That's it. So really, we could have kind of just killed this dead in about like, you know, five minutes, but, you know, you've got your shiny tie on, you know what I mean? And I'm looking rough and I wanted to do something. But, you know, it just it just goes the way it goes and everything. You know what, Richard, you are coming over to the 
you're coming over, mate. That's good. That's a good thing. I'm going to make you less wordy. That's all I can say. <laughs> I'm going to harass you on Skype now and everything. As a matter of fact, you know, I'm going to I'm going to actually post your Skype address and get everybody to kind of like harass you and stuff and make you less wordy and stuff. But you know, you're doing what you're doing. It's like when we turned the tables and it was like me interviewing you, and it was like. Oh, but but you know, and it was a case of because you're sitting on that point where you could you know you're looking to analyze everything I say, and it's like cool. So when we turn the tables, I do it to you, which shows that the whole thing is working interchangeably. And it's like now there's just this beautiful dynamic because there's a flow now. Whereas the first half hour was uh, 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 there was a blockage as you were talking about. Now there's a flow. Maybe in another five seconds there'll be a complete blockage because you know you'll say something dead dead wordy, and I'll say, oh, why did he say that for? God, why is he reading my day for? <laughs> but do you do you see what I'm saying? It's like. You know, I had a blockage earlier on today, you know, it was like a major, major blockage and stuff. And now all of a sudden there's a flow and this is the way it works. Yeah. There was somebody in that blockage going, Why, hold on, what's going on here? Why is this doing this and everything? And now all of a sudden it's here. It's kind of like that. And then after this, when this finishes, I'll be like, hold on, I've got that situation and everything. Oh, there's a block and all this. So, because really, ultimately what we're describing here is just life. And that's it. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's just life. You know, however we want to put it, you are right. You know, you are right. And, and and I am right and, and all of that stuff. And, you know, if you want to be esoteric about it, we can say it's all beingness, it's all source. But what you're finding now is people are kind of, they've heard all of the beingness and source and it is, yeah, there is this, there is this kind of wanting a little bit more, you know, like you said, you know, you can't really turn around to someone and say, yeah, starvation is just being us doing it and everything because it offends sensibility. So the thing is, just the point is that the communication, it has to be alive and that communication, it was like I talked to two separate people on Skype yesterday. And one person, it was all pure beingness and all this stuff and everything. It was just, you know, it's just this as a mind construct. It was just all of that was just coming out of my mouth. And I was like, well, this is really weird. I then had another conversation and the guy was from a Muslim background. And all of a sudden it was like, oh, yeah, yes, this. And it's in the Quran and in the Hadith and all this stuff. Because this will communicate itself. Because, you know, to two, it's like this. This is alive now. I'll probably listen to this tomorrow morning and think, oh my God, what a pile of crap I was saying. But it's alive in this moment uh, uh, totally. Yet somebody might listen to this and kind of go, oh, I totally resonate with this. Or, you know, you may listen to it and go, yeah, I totally get what he was saying now. Because of the problem that we've we've kind of, I, I noticed in our last interview is like we were just going from two different places and then right as it got exciting, we just terminated it. Because there was a bit where I kind of went, just go there and you looked and you smiled and I thought, right, we're going somewhere. But that's what's happening now. There's more of a, you know, maybe it's like it's. You could even see this as psychological. Now that we've kind of adjusted to each other's characters, because this is our second conversation, you know what to expect. I kind of know what to expect. I know this guy's going to ask me some really crazy questions. He's going to be very wordy, and he's thinking, "I best not say too crazy stuff," because this guy's going to fuck off on a rant and stuff, and he's going to be like, "Oh, you guys are bogus, non-duality. Get lost, get out the door." It's all, it's all this. But that was what was alive for then. And and this is now, you know, there's a concept in time, of time in this if you want it to be. And there's there's not a concept of time in this if you don't want it to be. You know, I can do this interview in English. I can do this interview in Urdu or whatever. You know, I can even come up with a piece of poetry right now because it's whatever's happening right now. It's whatever's right. Do you know what I mean? It's like sometimes I'll be speaking to people who don't even understand something and I'll start saying something in some other language because it just feels right because there's that, there's in a sense almost maybe ecstasy isn't the right word for it it's just like an aliveness yeah aliveness ecstasy whatever you want to say and it's yeah like you said here it's celebrating itself because it's it's coming alive to itself it's doing it itself you know, it is it you know and and over there it's like it's serene it's calm it's it's seen it's seen really you know it's seen what it's done it's had you know it's had its contentment and all that stuff it's doing what it's doing it's happy what it's doing so it's there in a sense we're both doing the same thing but what are we really doing we're doing life you got this young guy over here you got this young guy who looks 21 on the other side interviewing me see i'm trying to compliment you there you meant to smile but geez you know i don't know why i do this to myself but do, do you see what i'm saying and it's just two different experiences of the same thing but what are we essentially you know we Here's I, i'm gonna now i'm gonna uh, let me try uh, another one and see if this throws a loop into you it's never gonna throw no loop into yeah me, okay I'm, now yeah. look things come up right i mean uh, like okay. there's a flow there's a flow and somehow that flow yeah. oftentimes is hooked from right from the center wherever that flow originates uh, and it's hooked okay. directly to the mouth <laughs> okay now yeah. then there's either you know actually there is a choice to follow it or not to follow it you know yeah. you can actually follow uh, uh, a dialogue and just uh, keep you... continuing it or you can follow a, a series of thought patterns too and, and continue it. And then I've learned 
that actually there you can find that point where it just comes up and say, well, should I follow this or not? Well, I've been following it for a long time. And then maybe just a silence can happen, right? So there you go. You just said exactly the same thing I just said, but in a, in a different way. With less words, right? Yeah, that's because you're just a master of the universe and stuff, and you've been doing this for ages and stuff. I'm just a new kid on the block. You know, shall I, shall I tell you something? I'm going to confess now, right? I, oh, yeah, I, come I, I on, confess up. I want you to confess. Now. I'm going to confess. I've never, ever, you know, I, I've been on Never Not Here yet, and honestly, it's like kind of, I've been on these other websites. I won't say because, you know, you won't say, well, that's my competitor or whatever. I've been on Never Not Here, and I listen to all these people, and it's hilarious because they've, they, you know, they're really cool, don't get me wrong, do you know what I mean? They're really, really cool because I best not slay anybody just in case I turn up on next thing, you know, I'm going to stab one of them. They might be throwing a ball okay. at your head or something if they ever yeah, get to you know Glasgow, I mean, you know, right? Last, last, thing, last thing I need to do is be, you know, walking into a place and I all of a sudden I hear some guy who's the epitome of peace, you know, running at me with about 20 of his students or something. No, I'm, I'm kidding there. But it's it's just that, I mean, in this kind of a story here, it was a case of I was just in Glasgow, there wasn't any this non-dual thing. And honestly, the way my situation was back then is I wasn't going to buy a non-dual book. So this is just the way it kind of communicates here but it's it, it's kind of cool but what i found is i've naturally kind of come to that point and stuff really and that that's why i'm i'm kind of you know i, I just kind of talk the way i do i suppose you're still trying to throw a clangor in here aren't you i think i'm throwing one in because you're slowing down you a little bit you know i no, think no, i threw one haven't. in you know because you it's really up to you like it's been up to me a lot you know like i mean i would say like if you look at all the never not here i used to run yeah. on a hell of a lot more than i do now you know but I mean, yeah. maybe not. And because uh, I, I'm somehow, I don't know what it is. It's like you say, like, oh, this thought's here. It must be precious. So I have to get it out, you know, or I'll forget it, you know. You know maybe you feel like you're, you're not. You've got a vested interest in this now, and that's what's killing it. Yeah. You were alive. You were, I mean, I'm not saying this is a criticism to you. So there you go. You didn't stop. No, no, no. I'm uh, not a perfect host. No, I'm not uh, saying this host, is a criticism yeah. to you. I'll just, I'll just say what I'm, I'm going to say. Basically, what it is, is like you're saying, it's probably not doing as much as it used to be and all this stuff. Because the thing is, it's the very thing that you were once describing with such enthusiasm and all that stuff in the early days. And there was so much happening. It was alive. And what you're seeing is, and this is, this will sound like a criticism and no doubt somebody will comment on this and everything but even this whole non-dual Advaita Vedanta thing whatever you want to call it you know this this thing that's going on it's in a sense stagnating because now everybody is just sounding so so the same it's like I, I honestly cannot listen to some speakers because it's no, I totally of, agree I totally agree like, there's some separation so going on there where you're thinking like uh, uh, Advaita Vedanta is the right way you know and yeah. there's that separation that says uh, and it, well, there's so much it's, about, it's, about it that uh even if it's not said exactly this way, that the the effect mm. of it is that we could discard something. The the part that's not right, we could discard. You know, and then uh, yeah, but why? Why? Just I'm not saying. Me. I'm just saying that that's the effect of the teaching. That that there's kind of a limitation of it, and that that, that makes yeah. it separate. Well, what's what's happened is it's become a victim of its own success. I'm not I'm not going to get involved in the whole kind of the bitch fest that goes on between teachers and stuff and everything. Well, sorry, between speakers because they're not teachers, are they? They've got nothing to teach. Um, the bitch fest that kind of goes on between them because one's more clear than the other and everything. And it's just like, just forget about it. You know what's what's so wrong? You know, it's like I've heard. You know, it's like it's who's the one who gets slated by more than anybody Eckhart Tolle that poor guy gets battered left right and center it's like oh he's this he's that he's that look he's just doing what he's doing let him do whether you agree or not who gives a damn okay if you want to be vocal about it be vocal about it but does it really really kind of matter there's more kind of in a sense pressing things going on in life like what am I going to have for breakfast as as someone said to me you know well, I mean, I mean the whole world's involved in that one, so that I mean that's universal. Well, the breakfast one. Yeah, the breakfast Listen, one is universal, time, right? Tropic time. But I mean, is the way you know, it, it seems often. like <clears throat> sometimes uh, any kind of introspection or any kind of mm, noticing, I mean, somehow, <clears throat> if if anything, takes a pause, whatever a pause means, you know. I mean, some mm. will call it a meditation or something like that, or just yeah, a, cool. uh, a just a different rhythm, you know, like a break in the rhythm, because the, if the mm. rhythm just keeps going at its own pace uh, it seems like there's mm. no room for another another thought another even another thought nothing new, nothing new comes out of a a solid rhythm i don't know is that correct yes and no because it doesn't always have to be about rhythm it's like the people who was once samadhi it's like you know i remember talking to someone once and it was like I want my night, I want samadhi, I want instant bliss all the time. This isn't all about instant bliss. This isn't all about being smooth. This is also about being jagged and stuff. Like you've demonstrated jaggedness tonight in a nice way. And it's like kind of, you know, I've seen jaggedness going on today. 
you know, in a sense that, yeah, there is, there is a, it's like in martial arts, they kind of have this whole concept of kind of like Bruce Lee used to do this whole thing of jamming or stop hitting, which is basically you take the other person, you break their rhythm down and stuff. You're, you're trying something similar at the moment. It's quite cool. Um, and basically what happens is like, you know, you're trying to kind of break it down and all that stuff. But you know, that even that, uh, uh, it doesn't that matter. Thing. It doesn't matter because uh, there's no yeah. right rhythm. Right. And so then freedom is, yeah, is, yeah. is, uh, is good with any rhythm, right? Exactly. I mean, what, who cares freedom. what rhythm it is? I mean, maybe you'll be yeah. sick and you'll be, uh, not you. I mean, somebody will be sick and, uh, in a bed and they can't even move, you know, and maybe they, and that's freedom and that, and that, and that's another rhythm and they can still be exactly. free. Exactly. So going back to your whole thing right at the beginning about the blockages and stuff and the uh, jerk and everything, that's fine. It's cool. It's freedom just expressing itself in so many different ways. What what you know? What have we talked about? Really, we've we've gone in here. I mean, I just think it's just everything. Both of us have played our parts, and both have played from a dual show and a unity. Here's one guy who's wordy. The other guy's kind of uh, 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 and there's been more of a flow to it. But at the same time, it's been interrupted. You know, you said stuff, and I've kind of oh okay, right, yeah, okay. He's thrown another clangor in the works. I've said stuff. You've said okay. He's thrown another clangor in the works. And the thing is, what have we you know? The, what have we demonstrated but even then you know, somebody said oh so these two are claiming that they have something okay you know I mean to all you lot yeah whatever um, the thing is this it's just demonstrated life this is two guys having a chat about something that's sort of interesting it's, it's interesting it could be two guys having a pint somewhere you know what I mean or whatever or you know uh, a couple doing whatever they're doing and it's just there it's just life it just kind of works the way it does it's like I mean I'm enjoying this I've had a horrendous day since this morning and here I am and I'm just kind of celebrating here I'm with I'm with this guy and I'm celebrating I'm thinking he's talking about jagged days I'm having the jagged day from hell you know what I mean <laughs> but it's you know I, I honestly I came into his interview I was like kind of I'm just gonna sit here quietly because honestly speaking you know I've just kind of had my head kicked in and you know why in God's name do I really need Richard to kick my head in but then all of a sudden it's like a case of hold on Richard ain't going to kick my head in because I'm from Glasgow and that's not going to be allowed to happen <laughs> so what do I do I have to kind of do the natural aggression as a matter of fact I'm actually yeah. from Coventry and it was like you know if any of you are out there and know about Coventry you know I'm just like the center of the universe great great spiritual masters come from Coventry and all that stuff <laughs> I'm blagging here by the way but this is the way I speak. As it, it's, it's like you know there's a freedom in this it's like a, a, I, 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 I talk to someone you know like I mean uh, if yeah. just having a pint is all there is to it well the whole world's having a pint and so then let's close yeah, shop exactly. we should just close shop yeah, because well, there's nothing to say well, right if that's it I'm, I'm then we'll close shop Coca-Cola yeah I know <laughs> you're advertising uh, all, I can, all I can say you're no, having can corn say, syrup you know you're having high fructose corn listen, syrup listen, so listen, welcome to America say, you're American all I can say all you I can just say to, to join is, the know, club. The Listen, I am American, man. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to come over to America. You know, the Englishman is going to get over there. He's going to be on tour this year somewhere. I don't know how it's going to happen, but I've decided. I've, thought, <laughs> I've thrown that thought out. As my as my friend who actively creates a day says, you have to create your day and send that thought out to the universe. So I've sent you that have thought to. You to can't help but it. You know, you can't help but it. it you know, exactly. that's the trouble. Try to hold all your thoughts back, or you're going to be creating too damn many days. <laughs> <laughs> to, I'm going to create, I'm creating all sorts of stuff, everything. But yeah, you right. see, this, this is a thing, you know. In in <clears throat> this this is a thing, you know. It's just it's a beautiful thing. It's like this thing happening right now. I'm just kind of, you know, I'm I'm talking to you know I'm I'm talking to yourself and I'm just thinking, you know what? I'm feeling, you know, I'm feeling an overwhelming just just love here, and it's great. It's a wonderful thing to watch, and there's just a complete flow to it because. You know, it isn't jagged. You know, you, you'll you know you'll have your dark days and everything, but it's just another interpretation of the same thing. And it's and you know when that's it, it, it's it's like I was talking to someone last night. And I really it's mad. We had this conversation, and it was all to do with the fact that they they'd obviously gone through you know this thing called awakening and stuff, and there was just this last little bit you know of personality or whatever you want to call it there, and it was liberation was kind of eluding them, and, and they knew there was nothing they could do, but they were dying to do something and stuff, and. It was just, see, there you go. This is a beautiful example of jaggedness. I've just kind of went, why am I even going there? And I've just gone quiet because I'm just thinking, yeah, what was that all about? Why did I even bring that up? Richard, no, that's quick, good because, I mean, I, I, there's quick, definitely a place. Jump. There's a, definitely a place for just let, hands off and leaving it alone. And yeah. this person knows that there's nothing more they can do, but yet they just ache to do something. And then that's exactly. just, you know, and you're saying that he, uh, every one of these mm, interactions are appropriate for what they are. And one guy calls of you course. and you say this and one another guy calls you and you say that. So therefore, even something that mm, we're trying to, in a way, I mean, we're not, mm. 
maybe I'm not even allowing you to talk to me because I'm trying to be the general man or something and I'm not really being myself. You are, you, you know? are. And so then you I'm know, trying to what, what? tailor something that would would be broader and you're and you and yeah. we've already said that there is nothing broad. Everything is specific to the the occasion and you're saying, "Okay, your attempt to be broader and to be the every man uh, is kind of bogus, and uh, why not just let loose, you know, and be yourself? No, I'm just no, no. Maybe I'm that's saying, what you're I'm saying. saying Rich. Well, look at it this way. I didn't actually even said that. We demonstrated it because what happened was when you ask questions, you're very eloquent in your uh, asking questions. When we turned the tables on, I was like, okay, right, Richard, let's let's let's. What was your experience and blah blah, and it fell apart. It kind of like uh, well, you uh, weren't very good at the, being stayed, and I wasn't very good at uh, at rocking and rolling. You know, listen, Rich, I'm going to come over. I'm going to become a guest. <laughs> Give me some rock and, and roll. I'll lessons. tell you what. I'll tell you what we'll do together, right? Okay, yeah. What we'll do is we'll go through every single one of the non-dual guys, yeah, and we'll just rip them to shreds. And we'll kind of go. <laughs> so, Mister Mister Master of the Universe and everything. So you had this experience, did you? All right. So now you're saying you're claiming it. That's just. It's just. That's why I was saying it's wordplay in the sense of it's wordplay, and it's like kind of yeah. But I mean, oh, everything we're something. saying is our interpretation, right? And maybe it just flows yeah, naturally. Exactly. But I mean, it's just it's in the it's in the realm of uh, you know of wordplay, right? I mean, we're not really you know what I would we're not say, really you know in our say, center, you know right? Say. We're in a, in our wordplay, or are yeah. we? Are in our you center? know what I would say? Tell me. This is what I would say to anybody listening to this. Yeah, it's all jack. It means nothing. It's all crap. If you think this is divine, it's divine. If you think this is the biggest load of crap. It, it's the biggest load of crap. Whatever you think it is, it, you're right. Because as I used to say, it's all about you. It's like I can't teach you you. I can't teach you. If I think I can teach you, then I'm a fool that I think I can. It's like it's like weeks, weeks ago, I got invited to this like big, big Sufi Mephron stuff. And there, there's, a, there's a certain teacher. He's got, you know, he's got hundreds of thousands of students around the world and stuff. I don't understand how one man can spiritually take care of 100,000 people, but his, his followers assure me that he can. And, um, you know, he came out and stuff. And um, I, I was literally about two seconds away from getting injured because I was just like knocking people all over the place. So I was like, all right, so you all got a master and stuff, you know, just, just generally causing trouble as I do. Yeah. So the guy comes out, okay, and he sees me, right? And he's like, ah, how are you doing and all this stuff and everything. And I'm like, yeah, I'm doing really, really well and stuff and everything. He knows what my position is and stuff. Yeah, you know what? We had an amazing hug. We had, you know, we had an amazing hug. We talked, you know, he prayed, all this stuff, and it was beautiful. And the weirdest thing in the world was what people couldn't understand is because all the students came out, and honestly, they looked like students. They had, like, the beards, everything, the whole cloak and everything, and they looked like seekers. Well, no, they didn't even look like seekers. They looked like great spiritual masters of their time. And they were sat there, and, you know, sorry, they were stood there, and they could, you could tell that they were kind of like, hold on, what's going on here? Because there's a guy in a pair of jeans, okay, and he's talking to some guy who's, like, 60 years old, has got thousands and thousands of, like, followers around the world, is, is – is the master of his ages and everything, you know, the, 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 you know, the purveyor of wine, you know, the, the, you know, you name it, he was it. Yeah. And we're having this conversation and I looked over at one and I could tell he was having problems with it. I go, look, don't worry about it, man. We're just arranging a coffee date. That's all we're doing and stuff. But the thing is this, it was just a demonstration. And, you know, even if that guy is just the epitome of clarity, maybe he's just doing what he needs to do. It's like, I remember once it was like someone had a real issue with a lot of these masters and all this stuff and, and students. And I was like, you know, the best way, the best place for you to hide then is just to be a master. Sometimes the guy who's totally realized could be sat on the stage with everyone going, oh, he's a realized master. And some other guy going wanker and he's hiding in the very place you don't expect him to hide. You know, or he's in the pl very place where you expect him to be because there is just that immense, total mad freedom and stuff. It's like, you know, Richard's doing his thing, Richard does his thing, Zach does his thing, you know, Zach goes on, Richard goes on, it goes on and everything. And then all of a sudden, it just kind of tends to work out. It's like more, you know, our last conversation was more kind of jagged because I remember the first half hour, I'm like, why am I here? Why am I listening to this guy? What the hell is he going on about? And then it was like, okay, right, you've done your bit, yeah, I want to do my bit. Today, there's more of a there's more of a thing in it because it's just demonstrating life, you know. But don't take it too seriously. You know, just just go with it and stuff. You're doing your role. You're right. You can't you can't hang loose. You can't take your tie off and everything and sit there with a bottle of bird and kind of say, yeah, Zach, so, you know, what's been happening? I said, you know, are you still seeing that girl? You know, no, nah, no, nah, you know, I mean, you seen still seeing that girl, you know, whatever. Or, you know, hi, Zach, do you find that the fact that you can talk this non jewel stuff gets you more girls when you go to a nightclub on Saturday night? <laughs> well, no, it doesn't really work and stuff. No, I'm, I'm getting funny. more and more into my role, you know, actually really getting more well, and more into it. it. So and and I want to just uh, yeah. uh, soften it in many ways too and just kind of you know make it well, more, in that case, more you know what neutral. you need to do you know what you need to do i will help you soften it let, let me tell you i will give you a secret technique and anybody listening this is a secret technique which will lead you to many great states and everything you need to get yourself over to glasgow 
come out with me on a Friday night and we'll go for a drink. Trust me, mate, you will be, you'll be more than softened by the end of it and stuff or anything. You just start saying, no, you know what it is? There's nothing inherently wrong with what you're doing. You're just, you're just being Richard Miller because, you know, you is like, you know, you is like a, like a non-dual God out there. Everybody knows you and stuff and everything. And, you know, I'm kind of just like a guy who talks and stuff and everything. And a few people know him and stuff. And some go, you're really clear. And some go, wow. And some go, why does Richard Miller even give this guy any time? He didn't sit with Papaji. He didn't sit with, I don't know, Shake so-and-so and all this stuff and everything. Well, no, as a matter of fact, I did. You know, he didn't sit with you know, great Sufi masters. Well, he did. He wasn't very good at it. And and it's just, you know, what what's demonstrated here is just life. And it's a beautiful thing. You know, it's just, you know, you know, if you want to listen to the entire collection or never not hear things, go and do that. But if you want to listen to something like this and think, God, it's all just a waste of time. I'm going to go to the beach and do some surfing. Well, you know, go and do that. Life isn't a problem to be solved, but a mystery to be lived, said a friend of mine on Skype. Yeah. It's, it's on a Skype. You know, I'm, I'm sure what you're saying is like the effect, you know, that's the effect we're building because like with uh, yeah. I'm talking to 100 guys, just, I mean, uh, it's clear that no, that no, not very many people are going to listen to 100 guys and they're just going to realize it's just life. And, you know, yeah, that's just, one of the main uh, goals maybe is just to drop the whole thing in its tracks. I, I have a friend of mine who, who you know, I, I, I jokingly refer to as non-dual royalty. And she's like, why do you call me that? And Because, you know, you've sat with all the big heavy hitters and stuff and everything. And it's just, you know, and the weirdest thing is it's like kind of, but it, it's like Sufi's talk of the last the last veil before this whole thing is the veil of knowledge and stuff. Sometimes a very knowledge, you know, kind of holds you back. And she sounds perfect. She sounds really, really cool and all this stuff. And, you know, I totally love her to death. I think she's she's just cool as they come, yeah. But it's like sometimes, you know, the body's coming up with these sensations. Me, I haven't got time for it. So I kind of go, yeah, whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. You need to grow but, you know, you so when you were a Sufi, just, your energy was a little more staid, right? I mean, even when you're I in a Sufi a crowd. Just, I would like to. Oh, yeah? You, you, your energy was totally different, right? That. Or, I mean, you, you said you, you <sighs> talked to a guy that was coming from a Muslim faith, and you were you were quite I different, was, right? You were just talking about the Quran this around. and the Quran that. <laughs> <laughs> Should I tell you what it was? Should I tell you what it was? I was a picture of calmness. I was a great. That was a great one. No, you know what happened. I'll so I'm you. your release, right? I'm some kind of a release yeah, you for you. Release. You know, you, you know can just like just, you bring it out. Snap out, out baby. Kind of you no, you know, you know Get this happened? guy out there. Get him out. You know, <laughs> rabble yeah, rouser. You know what it is? I'm just I'm just a madman. I'm just going to go out there and just start kind of knocking heads off and stuff and everything. No, you know what it was? It was like I spent time with the whole Sufi thing. Honestly speaking, I wasn't I wasn't like I wasn't I wasn't what you would term a model student. But a lot of it, you know, you saw. See, the thing is, this true Sufism, true non-duality, or whatever these things are, they don't really exist. Sufism taken to its natural conclusion doesn't exist. Non-duality taken to its natural conclusion doesn't exist. Isn't that the these beauty of it? Isn't exist. that the beauty of it? Because when concepts That's dissolve, it. what's left? Just you. What's left exactly? Just me. I like that. Yeah, me. No, just you. I'll point it back to you and everything. Right I'll tell on. you this story. It's a really cool story. I'm going to have to tell you this great story because I was telling this to someone in the car the other day and it's got nothing to do with this conversation. But okay, let's gonna, break it's, it. You it's going to be a nice little snot. It's a, it's a nice little jaggedness here. We'll take it in another direction. They go, there's a king. It's one of these mad Sufi teaching tale kind of things. Yeah. They go, there's a king and he wants to write a book in which he talks of the internal aspects of, you know, reality in the internal aspects. So say, for example, he wants to do it wordy like you and he wants to make it ecstatic like me. Okay, right, yeah? Or not ecstatic, but, you know, stupid like me or whatever. I don't know, cool like me as much. Well. So what happens is he goes up to a man who is a master of the external, which, you know, we call a Molana, and he goes, I hear you are the greatest Molana of your time. And he goes, yes, I am. He goes, look, the guy's really, really proud. He's really arrogant. He obviously doesn't know. So he goes to the next one. He goes, I hear you're the greatest Molana of your time, you know, like uh, an exponent of the external aspects. And he goes, yes, it is me. So he goes through his whole list and he doesn't really kind of find the person he wants. So then he goes over to these mystics and he kind of goes, I hear you're the greatest mystic of your time. And the guy goes, look, it's not me. It's the guy behind me. So he goes to him and he goes, listen, I hear you're the greatest mystic. And he goes, no, it's not me. He goes, behind, he goes it's the guy behind me. Anyway, he gets to the end, goes to the one at the end and he goes, I hear that you are the greatest mystic because obviously you're the last one in the room. He goes, now, can I give you a little, he goes, can I get, tell you something? And he goes, what's that? He goes, it was actually the guy at the beginning. And the thing is, it's all about pointing. It's just always about pointing. You know, you, you know, it's it's all it's all about just kind of saying, look, there you go. It's you. That's it. Go home. What are you What are you asking me for? You know, it's like was it Yuji Krishnamurti used to say, "I'm sorry, I can't help you." Really, this is just about I can't help you. It's like, you know, it's like there's a mirror being held up to you. No one's really holding this mirror. There is no mirror in the end. Even the mirror dissolves. 
the, this is where it comes down to what we said earlier on about the question and answer. What's going on now is a question, i.e. it's looking in the mirror. The answer will be, ah, is that what I am? Okay, and then there's no need for the mirror and there's no need for the person even looking into a mirror. That's why people say it was seen, but no one was doing the seeing. See, there's a universal, there's, there's in a sense, all of this is all one. The terms are irrelevant because what happens is when this communicates from a position of clarity, the correct thing will just come up and stuff. It's like, you know, we've now managed to link the whole Sufi thing with a non-dual thing in one sentence and realize it's exactly the same thing. So, you know, it's like, yeah, how you say it is the way you say it, how I say it is the way I say it. Nothing is inherently better or worse, you know, it's just that. You know, so what we've in a sense demonstrated is, you know, in, in that field, but you know, beyond right or wrong, you know, I mean, I'll just meet you there. In that field beyond making it sound like, you know, it's it's like this or it's like that, you know, it, it's 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 just there. Do you get what I mean? It's just there. However, you know what I mean? Um, so there you go. It's just as it is, really. Can you see where I'm coming from this? Very good, very clear. You love it, don't you, Richard? You're yeah. thinking, you know, I'm glad I had this guy back and everything. Yeah. It's, it's, see, 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 even then, you just said something really important, and something I really, really want to clear up. You just went, very good, very clear. Someone was saying to me yesterday, they go, they, they think that so-and-so is really, really clear. And they go, even saying very clear is your perception of what's clear. You know, I remember talking to two people, and one said, and they were both people I would consider I would, re you know, I hold in high esteem because, you know, honestly speaking, you know, I may come across as a bit of a rabble rouse and all that stuff. But, you know, I have my intellectual moments and I'm I'm kind of like, I'm grateful for what's happening here. I'm grateful for the amazing people I meet and the amazing people I speak to and all this stuff. Yeah. Um, and, the, the you know, the, the thing I find is that, you know, even even this whole who's clear and who's not clear and everything, you know, it's, it's a personal thing. It, it is really just a personal thing. You know, it's you well. I mean, in a way, it's the other yeah. way around, isn't it? The clarity is not personal, and uh, in, in the impersonal is what is clear about it. Mm. Well, there you go. Yeah, if you want to say it that way, do you know what I mean, and everything. But that that that's that's the whole thing. It's just it's just there. It's just there. And yeah, that's it's it. there and, when you and, take the personal out of it, out of the equation. Oh, well, then it's not there. It's it's there when you you've put the personal into the equation. Because there's someone saying it's there. Take the person out of the question. There's not even there there. Then it's not even said, you mean? Doesn't, if you want. Doesn't manifest? Doesn't doesn't get said? But it does because, it, like it said, it, if we bring it around to the world said at the beginning, it was a hidden treasure. It wished to be known. I, it wished to be known. It wanted to be known. Who it wanted to be known to. Why it wanted to be known. That was it. That's why that's that whole thing of like, you know, I keep coming back to this, you know, you know, with that roomy quote of like, you know, between right and wrong, there's this field or, you know, there's right or wrong, but there's a field beyond it. I'll meet you there. And that's what this demonstrates that, yeah, OK, in this, it's impersonal, it's personal, it's clarity, it's clear, it's not clear, you know, which, whichever way you want to see it, really. You know, it's it, it's 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 funny because I remember someone left a comment on the last interview I did. It was like, "Our Zahir is in, engaged, Zach is engaged in the game of oh he or there." But it was like, but at the end of the interview, I kind of went, "Well, look, it sounds like I'm coming full circle." But there's nothing inherently wrong with that as well. So you know, whoever you are, whoever made that comment, I will find you. No, I'm only kidding. I won't really. <laughs> it was just a, that was just a Glasgow of me coming through. Um, but you know, it's 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 both sides of the equation. I mean, this this is just a, this is just a beautiful thing, really. This really wasn't even really a talk. You know, this was just it was just this. It was more than that. It was it was just it's beauty itself. It's just love itself. You know, there you go. That that was me just demonstrating that I can can actually be really really kind of nice if when I want to be. But, <laughs> yeah. I picked up on it. I totally picked up on you it. I think, it. I, I think not, everybody not, into this kind he, of like he's, thought, whoa, he's not, he's not quite, no, you know <laughs> this guy's multi-dimensional. You know this guy's totally multi-dimensional. <laughs> yeah, because no, no, because you know what it was. It was at the beginning. It was like kind of yes, yeah, this is rough thing going on. I thought, okay, well, better I kind of better start kind of sounding like I actually kind of can talk posh and stuff improper. You know, I used to have elocution <laughs> lessons. You know, I used to have a, 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 a pony and stuff. And, you know, remember we're British, so it basically means you know I've I've been hanging around with this royal family and punting down the Thames and stuff. Um, but no, this this is it. It's just this is this is the one thing. Not even this is the one thing because that's going to sound really really wrong and stuff. But life is life. You know, it's it's like I talk and I call it this is life because I can't actually come up, think of anything more simpler than that because it is it's just life and it's just a case of, in a sense, you know, people come and it's it's really cool because. 
I just love watching people do it to themselves, you know, you know, realizing, you know, they're talking clarity and you kind of go, well, sorry, why were you here again? And it's beautiful when you're sitting there and there's somebody having a heated discussion with somebody else or somebody's walking in and out to get a cup of tea. It's almost like watching a father with his son, you know, and, you know, he's, he's chasing a pigeon and he's just in the moment and you're watching that. And then, you know, that clarity is just, it's just there. And then a moment later, you know, you're, you're, you're wondering what do I do, what do I do, or whatever. I'm here. Well, that geezer in the corner is looking a bit shifty. Oh God, that Ned's going to come up to his ask me money again. It's just clarity, and that is why it's a beautiful thing, man. Zach, I have to. I, have to. I really we love it. I really thank you, Zach. I love it. <laughs> no worries, <laughs> thank you friend. very much. You know what it is? You know, it's uh, years, years ago. There was um when I was with the whole Sufi master thing. He came out with a. He came out. I went to a metal, a uh, whirling, whirling dervishes thing. And I was doing the whole whirling and, and midway through, he was quite an aggressive master, this guy. And, you know, he wasn't, he, he, he would, I mean, he, he was capable of amazing things, but at the same time, he was capable of, you know, if he needed to punch a guy in the face to make him realize he would punch a guy in the face. But he came out with this one thing and he said, you know what I mean? He goes, those who are disbelievers of love, he goes, you know, they're, they're, they're you know, they're monuments, they're teachers and they're, they're temples or something else. And he goes, leave these people alone. He goes, leave these, leave these people who do not believe in love, you know, who do not appreciate love. And he goes, there are many different ways to bring them to love and everything. And he says, just lose yourself in it and then that's it. Do you know what I mean? It's just there. And that was it. It's just a case of, you know, whatever is happening is happening. You know, we sit here, we watch. And when we need to, it, it, it's like even if you, you know, you refer back to the Bhagavad Gita, there's a bit where it goes, a wise man knows, knows when to go forward and he knows when to, when to stop. You know, one of your non-dual guys is probably going to say, but there's no wise man there. You know, that's fine as well. Because we sit here and when we need to stand, we stand. When we're going to have traumas, we're going to have traumas. When we're going to sit there, whatever. When we're going to talk to Richard again, we're going to talk to Richard again. We're going to have these great times and stuff. And, and that's it. It's just, you know, I'm, I, I like what's going on at the moment. I like it. I, I'm meeting some amazing people and I'm, I'm forging some amazing friendships. And it is, it is just a beautiful thing going on. That's not like in a sense of hook of there's something so much different in, in this. No, it's just, you know, you need to recognize that life is a beautiful thing, you know, and, and you don't really need all of that. You know, the pain will come along, but recognize it's just happening. This too will pass. You know, you're going to feel good one day and then you're going to feel bad. It will just pass. And that really is all about there is really. I feel we're a, we're forging an amazing friendship between us, also. Giza, we're going to go for a drink in Glasgow. Thank you anybody, for that. By the way, Thank you for anybody, that. Anybody, <laughs> listen, you want to come to Glasgow? You want to go for a drink? Let's go for Glasgow. And you know what? I would I would just like big shout out to you know, the Edinburgh Fringe. You know, if ever you're in Edinburgh in August, you got to come out to the Fringe because it's brilliant. You just see life happening in an amazing way and stuff. Plus, you can get yourself like a nice cheap feed as well. Let me think around the corner from some place. <laughs> I won't advertise it. <laughs> but, so then, yeah, but listen, thank you very much for the opportunity. I've kind of like so much more enjoyed this than than, than last time, you know. Oh, come on. Uh, there is no last time. We can forget about that yeah, one. <laughs> yeah, how can we say? Well, it's all an illusion, you know what I mean? When I walk out, there's some guy hits me over the head and says, geezer, so I came It's I, a memory. It's, it's a memory. We got a memory. And some uh, some uh, some bastard made him a video of it, so we have to put it in our face every you, once in a while. You, you know what it was? It was a beautiful thing. I enjoyed last time. I really really enjoyed it and stuff. Everything. I remember coming off there and thinking that was car crash TV at its worst. Do you know what I mean? And, and, uh, and I, uh, no, honestly, I remember. I was like, you know, somebody somebody sent me an email saying. So you threw your dummy at the pram there, didn't you? And I was like, fuck. <laughs> and then, and then, then, then the funny thing is, I started getting all these emails going. Yeah, that was really, really cool. And then I read your comment, and I thought, yeah, man. Maybe it wasn't so bad and stuff, but then yeah, you know, right by that time, right. I was like, I, I like this. Yeah. I'm going to send you a check for that. I'm going to send you okay. a check for that. It was really I cool. I, that's fabulous. Thanks so well, much, Zach. No worries. Take care of yourself. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, cool. Take care. Yeah. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye for now. Okay. Bye-bye.